Hey everyone, it's me Tasha and I'm so so hyped to talk to you today. I'm going to talk to you about money. Um, earlier this month I wrote a banking ass newsletter talking all about coinage and today I'm going to expand some more. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. So today I want to talk to you about why I switched invoicing companies or what I did basically. So over the last let's say 11 months um, the invoicing company bookkeeping company all the people I have been using like that I have been loyal to for several years had basically gone down the drain like crappy customer service issues all types of things and even my bank um, let me know that too my bank just like I had fraud issues on my business account where I rarely swipe my business card um, I believe in the power of money I believe that you give people power when you give them money and I wasn't going to continually give companies money when I got treated like crap, my accounts were getting messed up, I was having issues every day, servers would be down. I'm not giving you money. I'm just not. So I realized I had to recalculate my coinage and what I was giving these people every month um, and did they deserve it. So one thing that I do, as you know, I consult. And when I consult, I send people invoices and then they pay it. But I'm charged a fee every time someone pays their invoice. There's a fee for processing and all this other stuff. And then the invoice company fees, fees on top of fees. So I might charge three seventy-five or whatever an hour, but only get like three, I think like three fifty or something like that. So I'm losing out on twenty-five dollars. That might not seem like a lot to you, but say you do ten consults a month or whatever. That's thirty-seven hundred dollars roughly, or something around there, <laughs> and. Then you take out the the 10 for every 25, that's $250. Now take that $250 times it by 12. That's what I'm losing a year if that was happening. Like that's what, like if my number of consults was that. That's what I would be losing a year. That's a lot of money to be losing, you know? And everyone's still getting their worth of their consult. I'm not getting my worth though. So I decided to drop the current bank I was with, mainly because customer service issues and fraud issues that kept happening, and go to Chase. So I decided to go to Chase, and mind you, I've had Chase since college. I got it when I started going to college in Baton Rouge, go Jaguars, and I was like, okay, I'll have Chase, and you know, I used it off and on and all this other stuff, and it was mainly for personal. And then um, I had a couple issues with the bank I was using, and I was like, you know what, God, I really don't want to stay at this bank anymore. <laughs> I need something to come. I need some aha. I need something to sweeten the deal. And y'all all know about the bold actions, no limits, all that stuff. So I'm thinking positive. I'm uplifted. I'm like, money's going to come my way, all this other stuff. The very next day, I get a $300 bonus check or like in a sense like cash check from Chase if you decide to open uh, an account. And I have never in my life seen a business one. I see the personal ones all the time. You have to get direct deposit and all this other stuff. I don't get direct deposit, so I can never use that. And then this landed at my doorstep, <laughs> my doorstep literally. Um, so I was like, great, I have the money to open the account. Let's do it. And then when I went to the bank, they were like, you know what? We've never seen one of these in like two, three years. And I'm like, all these small businesses and you've never, and so it was like a rare thing. So it goes to the bold actions and no limiting. So I moved everything over there. And then uh, maybe a couple days later or a week later, all the drama with PayPal came out with one of the uh, founders saying that he supported Donald Trump. Everyone's like, I need to switch invoicing companies, da 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 all that stuff. I really use PayPal. I'm not like a PayPal person. I do do it for buy my buy me coffee because that's how it's set up. I can't choose another person. So I do have it in that sense. But I was reading the thread on one of my friend's Facebook page. A lot of them were freelancers and they were like, oh, I just use Chase Quick Pay. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and so I text one of my friends that's a, you know, a, a makeup artist that uses it. She was like, yeah, it's really simple, da da da. You send them an invoice, it's paid, there's a network. There's no fee. Yes, that's what made me so excited. And so I like my thing is when it comes to your money, you want every penny. Like not to sound like a hoarder or anything like that. Like it's not like I live on 100%. I live on 90 because I am a Christian and I believe in tithing. So I'm even taking money away from God with these fees. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I was like, no, I can't do these fees no more. All this other stuff. 
so far I've had no issues with Chase Quick Pay. Um, a lot of my clients just signed up for the network. Money came, booked. If any of them need an invoice, an actual physical invoice, I can create one, send one out. My thing is when it comes to your money, you need to know where every penny is going. You need to understand, is it worth these fees? Um, the other day on Instagram, I seen this guy complaining about the worst customer service he got at Porsche. He was like, so livid, da da da, I'm going to talk to the owner, da da da, but he still bought the car. If I'm livid and you give me a bad customer service, I'm not about to split the payments up. I'm not about to do anything to give you commission. I'm not going to do anything to give you public, you know, um, satisf satisfaction. You're not getting none of that. And I'm like, you still bought the car. You still gave them power. Your money is power as a small business owner. The money you spend with other small businesses and the money you use to grow your small business. So it's important to know where it's going, how it's being used, and everything else. If you're getting crappy service at your bank, leave your bank for a better bank. If the payment gateway you're using sucks, leave. Like, there's too many options. I believe there's over 300 payment gateways out there. 300! So you don't have to per se stay with the big ones. You know, find one that works. Um, I read this story. There's a guy, he has just a website, he has no social media, he uses a free payment gateway. And he's like a millionaire. Find what works for you. So, I'm really excited about Chase Quick Pay. Um, mainly because I'm more focusing on consulting and bigger checks and I don't want to lose that money to be completely honest like if you're thinking like 3.5% when you key in because it's not being swiped so it's keyed in like swipe is like 2.5 so 3.5% plus like 1.3% um, and then whatever you're paying your invoicing or bookkeeping company a month like all those fees add up I decided I really wanted to win in 2016 when it came to my money so I got smart about it. I mean, I know I'm in November, but I keep getting smart about it each day. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you have Chase Quick Pay, leave a comment. Tell me about it. If you like the video, subscribe, share with your friends. Talk to you later. Bye.